You guys, welcome back to Eat Local here in Chicago, Illinois. That right there, that's Corey Wagner. I'm Sean Ely. Today, an icon, the Billy Goat Tavern, the original location on the under part of Michigan Avenue in downtown Chicago. Pumped to show you the cheeseburger, cheeseburger. Cheeseburger, 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 four Pepsi, two cheap. Very, very pumped you were here. And then also a merch shout out, a Eat Local shirt purchase from Casey Ragau, who purchased that. You always get a shout out when you buy Eat Local merch, hot sauce, any of that stuff. Also a number six with cheese if you buy stuff there. Both of our shows, we've got shout outs coming. So Casey, thank you. And now downtown Chicago. Okay, here we go. Everybody trying to eat local on the dashboard. Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, it's a simple burger, but that's what they're known for. You do your own ingredients, so I just threw some onions, ketchup, and mustard on there. This is the double, believe it or not. I Looks know. a little thin. Yeah. Then uh, it's a double with cheese, and that's there she is. My really like, I like the story of this place and everything like that. The one thing I really wish they'd up the bun is so bready. It's, it's so, so bready. It's, so big. it's a big old bun. All right, Corey, little Billy Goat. Little Billy Goat it's had to do it. All right, let's eat local. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, the bun feels softer today. <laughs> <laughs> it's a soft bun, still mm. bready. The cheesiness on that is so great. It really does have like a really good flavor. Mm. This is truly like, feels like a backyard burger. You it, brought that up yeah. recently, this yes. definitely feels like something a dad would throw on the ground. Absolute backyard burger. If you're staying downtown, the fact that you can like, a lot of people don't realize it, you bop down below Michigan Avenue, mm -hmm. the Mag Mile. Everyone's shopping and like all the street performers, so much going on, you can kind of escape. Have yourself an old style shot of JMO or something and get a burger. It's so cool. This is such a beer drinking, liquor drinking burger to me. Yeah, they got a bar down there. Mm -hmm. And they just, the whole vibe of that place is like interesting, unique, it's mm -hmm. different. Even though it's maybe not the best burger in town. No. There's a cool factor to it. On a vacation, I'm about vibes. You're gonna eat a mm -hmm. lot of good stuff here. There's no shortage of that, but that place is vibes. Also, the story behind that place, I think it like opened in the 30s. The dude that bought it, bought it for two, a $200 check that bounced <laughs> and then he used the money he made on the first weekend of it opening Did to pay back the <laughs> I love stories like that. So this was 709 for the double. Okay. Do you tip a place like that to go? No server. No cashier. Ah, I did 15. I think they just put that on every. I know. Everything has the option now. Bro. And like, I can't figure it out. I, I get it. If you're sitting down. Yeah. Totally get it. I'm not ever dipping below 20%. I never. Agree. Yeah. But uh, just grab and grab. The grab and go used to be no tip ever mm -hmm. asked. Right. And you're also like the fact you're putting on the ingredients. Like <laughs> you got you got to put the mustard and they should have given you 15%. <laughs> Oh, right. <laughs> now, if you'll just select a gratuity, options are 60%, 90%, and 200%. Bro, it's pretty good. Mm-hmm. I wonder, their cheese seems like, I don't know what's giving it so much flavor. It seems like a better cheese than I'm used to. I totally agree. It's like wrapping around the beef so well, it's super creamy. Really good cheese flavor. That's like the thing I'm mainly getting. Yeah. I'm just getting rid of some extra bread. <laughs> yeah. Too much bread. Yes. When I worked at the Tribune Tower right up there, like one of the first couple weeks I moved to Chicago, a lot of the journalists from my newspaper would go down there after work and like drink and like place to hide out and talk crap about everybody. Like that's kind of what that was. And they have a lot of like headlines on there, newspapers mm -hmm. everywhere. And yeah. It's a cool spot. I wonder downtown what the burger costs usually are. I would just assume that's one of the cheaper spots, but seven bucks seems have like- to be. Right? Like Absolutely. I just assumed downtown. Mainly because like double quarter pounder from McDonald's is over seven dollars. <laughs> or is seven dollars. Yeah, yeah. So like to me, it's one of the better steals you're gonna get. And because of the vibe with it, it really offers a lot. And I live here and I like going there. Like you don't have to be a tourist. <laughs> oh, I'm not a tourist. They don't give you a bag, they just hand you the burgers, put these in your hands, be way OB. So we gotta throw them away. <laughs> throw our garbage in our old taco bell bag here. <laughs> 
That leaves me like satiate. Like it just feels good to eat that. I don't. Yeah. That's a weird. It's a weird thing to say. That's a weird thing to say. All right, guys. I'm gonna do some super thanks shout outs. These are for people who've been donating to the channel with the little super thanks button. Absolute gentlemen. We've got Derek Boudreau with five bucks. Sorry about this one. L V V M C M L V. Two dollars. <laughs> Chris Catton, five bucks. Derek Boudreau, five bucks. Jeff Schwartz, five bucks. Derek Boudreau, five bucks. And Jeff Schwartz, another five bucks. Absolute legends. Uh, if you guys want to help the channel out, you got super thanks, you got PayPal, you got Venmo. If you don't have any money, just like the video, subscribe to the channel. That's helping out for us. We really appreciate anything that you guys do to help support us. It means the freaking world. And then a question for you guys so we can hang out down in the comment section. What's your stance on tipping on to-go orders? You yeah. doing it? Is it 15? What is it? I don't know. Help me out here. I feel like this will be a good soundboard. For uh, yeah, I, I want really a general did. consensus. I really do. We're all, we should toss this question in Discord today too. I'll make sure to do that so everyone on Discord can talk about it further. It'd be great. Comment, all that stuff. Discord's also linked below. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm so curious what everybody thinks about that. I get hives thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, we're stressed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moment of truth. Um, we're gonna rate that burger. Uh, we're gonna rate it out of a hundred here today. It truly is like a budget burger, man. Um, Alex Trebek, thank you so much. Man, it gets so many points because of the price. But yeah, like there's so many better burgers. That's just not gonna let you down. I'm also like experiences in there. Like that's yeah. just a great experience. I love it. I'm biased. I just I love that place. It's near and dear to me. Yeah. Just going down under the earth to get a burger. I know. In a place with a bar. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm done with this for. Yeah, this might even be a little low for me, but we'll see. All right, one, two, three, bam. Yeah, wow, okay. Yeah, I Perfect. Mind. I feel really good about that then. Just so fun. I know, it really is. All right, you guys, we're going to get out of here. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Thank you for spending a little bit of time with us here today at Eat Local. It truly does mean the world. And we'll see you again very, very soon. You'll see us chewing again. Love you guys. Bye.